Do you have any mismatched socks laying around the house? Or an old or too big pair that you don't wear? Hi, it's Ricky from Circus Arts Conservatory. Welcome back to CAC Connects. Today, I want to teach you how to make a piece of circus equipment from some things you probably have around the house. We'll make poi. Poi are a piece of manipulation equipment. After we make our poi, I'll teach you how to do some basic moves with them. To make our poi, we'll need some rice, something to scoop our rice, two plastic bags, some scissors, and some knee-high socks. If you don't have knee-high socks, you can use two shorter socks. If you're going to use two shorter socks, then you'll also need some string or rope. If you don't have string or rope, you could also use two shoelaces. All right, let's get started making our poi. Move the socks off to the side for now. And we're gonna pour out some rice. You can probably see that I have a measuring cup, but I'm not really measuring for a certain amount. We're measuring for a certain feel. We're just gonna get them to be how heavy we want them to be. My measuring cup is a half a cup, so I'm gonna start with that. Woo, make a mess. I'm gonna pour my rice into my bag. Then I'm going to decide if I like that weight for something that I might be swinging around. Mm, I think I'm going to make it a little heavier. So I think I'm going to do a cup. I'm going to do another one. in there. I'm going to tie a knot in the back. So I'm going over and then under with the tail and through. And pull it tight. Like this. Now we'll use our scissors to cut off the extra at the top. And we don't need this anymore. All right, and we're done with one of them. Now we'll make our second one. We're gonna use the same amount. So for me, that's one cup. All right, here we basically have our two poi. We don't need our rice anymore. All right, first I'm gonna show you the way to make them with knee-high socks. We'll open our socks and we'll stuff our rice bags in our socks. <laughs> And you want to stuff them all the way down to the bottom. Like that. Now, we'll tie a knot near the top of our sock. And pull it tight. This is where we'll hold on to it. Now we'll do our other one. Stuff your rice bag into your sock. All the way down to the bottom.
and we'll tie a knot at the top. And there we have our poi with knee high socks. I am going to untie these so we can use the same rice bags and I'll show you how to make them with shorter socks. So, as you can see, since I just made these, although I haven't played with them yet, I didn't ruin my socks just by making them. They will probably get pretty stretched out when we play with them. All right, to make poi with short socks and rope, it's almost the same. We'll put the sock, the rope, <laughs> we'll put the rice into our sock. a knot in your sock. If you can, if your sock is too short for this, it's okay to skip this step because we'll also be using rope. Repeat with the other sock. use our rope. We're going to measure out some rope that is about the length of our arm or a little bit shorter. So I'm holding it in my hand and then I'm going to see it comes about up to my armpit. I'm going to hold it there and then cut it. I want the other side to be the same. So I'm going to roll the rope out Measure it to be the same as the other side and cut it. Okay. Now we'll tie the rope around the sock. This is where it's okay if your sock was too short for you to tie that other knot because you could just tie the rope around your sock. Now we'll do the other side. Here we have our poi with shorter socks and rope. You might also like to tie yourself a little handle here by creating another little loop or adding another piece of string to make another loop. You might also just like to wrap them around your fingers. All right, now let's learn a couple of beginner tricks with the poi. Now that we have our poi made, let's learn a few tricks we can do with them. We'll start by making circles. We're mainly doing this to gain control over the poi. You want to try and keep them spinning at the same time. Once you feel confident about your circles, you can try and move your body in a circle. And go the other direction. Again, we're mainly doing this to gain control over the poi. All right, now we'll make some circles in front of us. And try it with your other hand. If you notice, I'm making my circles go opposite directions. For the trick I'm about to teach you called butterfly, that's what you'll need to do. So we're gonna move our circles at the same time. I'm trying to get my wrists together. 
have to angle my poi just a little bit so they don't hit each other. And that's the butterfly. Next, we're gonna learn what's called a stop. This is for when you're spinning poi and you wanna transition between tricks. You're gonna bring your arm up and stop, and under and stop. And what you do with one hand, you should try with the other. Up and stop, under and stop. And we'll learn one last trick. My favorite, the figure eight. We'll start by making a figure eight. And next we'll follow it with our other hand. You want your wrists together like the butterfly. I hope you enjoyed making homemade poi and learning how to do them. Keep calm and circus on.